One of the most nervous men, and I'm sure he would deny that he's nervous, although maybe a little bit of sodium pentothal, maybe a little bit uh, uh, away from the cameras. Not that this camera's in his face right now, but put it all together, and there is one individual who is particularly on edge right now. He, uh, his name is Matt Ryan. <laughs> He's going to have quite the Thursday night, Matt Ryan. Look, we all know, uh, unfortunately, Gardner Minshew is going to be a backup quarterback. We all know the Jets are going to take their new quarterback, and we all know the 49ers are going to take their 2021 backup quarterback. And Maybe. we will see three quarterbacks go uh, one, two, three in the common draft era, as they like to say, for just the third time. And... Um, the last time it happened is when Tim Couch, Donovan McNabb, and Achilles Smith went one, two, and three. And interestingly enough for Achilles Smith, Chris, how many times did I tell you over the last week, I'm going to reach out to NFL Network Research to ah. see the last time a team chose a quarterback and the top three picks of an NFL draft just three years and four drafts apart like the Jets are going to do. And I did reach out to Jack Andrade of NFL Network Research on the Zoom that we had on Friday after we were done with the show. And as a matter of fact, when the Jets choose Zach Wilson, it will be a record. That's never happened before. Oh, I thought you were about to say Akili Smith. The last team to do it did it over five drafts in four years. It was Cincinnati going from Carson Palmer first overall to Akili Smith third overall. So the Jets are about to do a a first. One that I don't think people would really want to have. But at any rate, the reason why Matt Ryan at fourth overall with the Atlanta Falcons is going to be on pins and needles, and for him, I hope, I sure hope that the night does go that fast for him and that the Jaguars go fast and the Jets go fast and then the Niners will go fast because they are not waiting for a phone to ring. They're going to make a choice, which we'll talk talk about with Ian Rappaport because that's one of his scoops. The other scoop for Ian Rappaport today is – Julio Jones on trading block. That teams are calling Atlanta for Julio Jones because they know that there is a cap problem for this team. With the cap being less because of COVID-19, Ian Rappaport calling it in his tweet a brutal cap situation and for cap reasons a trade could not happen before June 1, but perhaps the trade could be done right now in advance of a draft choice, maybe? For Atlanta now, and then it doesn't become official in June till June 1, maybe that's the way it could go? I don't know how that would work. Because normally a transaction's got to take place on the spot for a draft choice right now. But it, that's fascinating. We'll talk about the actual mechanics of a trade like that with Ian. But right now, Matt Ryan is either going to lose his job as a starting quarterback or is going to have the clock started on him losing his job as a starting quarterback or is going to be the starting quarterback for this team with the addition of maybe Kyle Pitts coming in fourth overall. Now that's the jackpot for Matt or maybe the worst of every possible world. You're still the guy. You're not only still the guy, but the clock's already started on you no longer being the guy and you don't have Julio Jones in the two years that you have left. To me, that's got to be the worst possible scenario Yeah, for Matt Ryan. For sure. Because I don't think he's going to lose his job on the spot. I don't think who they choose fourth overall is going to immediately get the job. He's going to get it cap-wise. So let's just remove that. He still has the job, but the clock starts. We talked about that with Carson Palmer last week. Every possible question to him will be framed with the what about the future until games are played. And then if games are played and aren't played very well, then the question will be how much longer does Matt Ryan have in 2021 to prove it? And that will happen far more often and much quicker than Matt Ryan would like if Julio Jones isn't on the team. Could the Falcons possibly have that in mind? Matt Ryan's got to be sitting here going, what the hell did I do to deserve that? And the Falcons could eventually say on Thursday night, nothing. We we didn't do anything. We, We had Kyle Pitts in mind all along. 
And then there's that as the backdrop in all 2021. Maybe he's the next Aaron Rodgers who's at peace with everything until things fall apart. And then you're wondering what the hell was that all about? The Atlanta Falcons are a fascinating 2021 NFL draft team. Fascinating. Because, you know, Julio, remember they had Julio, Roddy White, and Tony Gonzalez? Julio, Calvin Ridley, and Kyle Pitts. Oh, baby. And Hayden Hurst would be, for me, as you know, too damn good to pass up. And then Pitts can be there for your next quarterback who could be, you know, drafted next year, year later, later on in this draft, never know. Or you go into the free agent market when suddenly your cap numbers open up and you go get a kid or you get somebody young enough. You get somebody who can actually drop in your lap, like Sam Darnold. Maybe the, somebody was drafted last year, two years ago, becomes the Sam Darnold of 2023. You can't make these decisions now, but you can eventually kick the can down the road and take advantage of somebody's uh, an opportunity that somebody else has presented because of their own issues and take the generationally talented Kyle Pitts. That's what I would do. We'll see what happens. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.